Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Godot tutorial. I've had this tutorial for quite a long time in my pinning list and now that I've finished uh, launching my new game Satellite Repairman I've thought why not let's just finish this. Um, so I'm just to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do a 3D gimbal, two axis gimbal camera for 3D games where you use a camera with a third person view. So my previous game which is this one you can see here, a game of changes is it was the one where I uh, used this kind of camera and the reason I used this is because I wanted the player to have the capacity to the ability to rotate the camera all around and zoom in and zoom out freely so I can use the keys like this and I can rotate the camera I can zoom in and zoom out in all kinds of directions okay so I wanted the player to it was very important to look at the map like from above but then I'll actually also to just zoom in and be in the action, so to say. So um, you can easily do this, well not, not that easily, but you can do this by code itself, just by placing your camera with code, calculating if you like 3D math, you can just do all the calculations where your camera should be looking at, uh, taking consideration the zoom and the rotation, where you should place it and rotate it, etc, etc. Uh, this takes far more work. I'm going to show you a very simple method using the nodes um, hierarch hierarchically. So let me just close this and go back to the sample scene I've made. Um, here I'm going to show you what is the usual problem people face when trying to do this with nodes. Uh, so the structure us people usually do is something like this. You have a spatial and you have a camera which belongs to the spatial but is offset by this distance here. And so then you assign a script where you can rotate the camera using keys and you end up something with something more or less like this. You can rotate up and down and left and right. Okay, now but see what happens when I rotate up and I leave it here, then if I rotate right, it's not going right, it's going like sideways and if I keep rotating different axes then the camera gets all messed up okay and then it's very hard to get it back to the right position like to reset the rotation again so to say so what happens is that let me show you this in the, in the editor what happens is if you're rotating up like this sorry let's just put this in the global coordinates if I'm rotating it up like this everything is okay but now if I rotate it left and then up again same axis, look what happens see the camera is now facing this very strange direction okay so the way you can solve this problem is by using a 2D axis gimbal let me just put this back to zero again okay so instead of having um, one node and the camera inside, we're going to have two nodes. So I'm going to call this the gimbal and then I'm going to create another spatial and I'll call it the inner gimbal. You can call these more, you know, obvious names like pitch and yaw, for example. So the names will reflect the movement that the camera is going to do. So now I'm going to put the camera inside the inner gimbal. So we have one, two, three in a hierarchy. This distance here from that the camera has from the um, from the node will be the let's say the standard zoom level like so when zoom is one how distance how is the distance from the from the target okay so now what we're going to do what we do now is we use one node to rotate in one axis and the other node to rotate in the other axis so let's say for example i use this for my um, pitch let's say like this and now I go to the inner gimbal and I rotate it like this and you see my rotation is perfectly fine I'm not messing up any uh, any the rotation of the camera is always facing up as it should okay so when you do this by code we just have to adjust a little bit our code here. So left and right will rotate. The, the script is on the on the parent gimbal. So left and right will rotate 
uh, this node but then up and down I have to rotate the other node so I'm gonna add here the inner gimbal okay so the y axis is being rotated on the gimbal and the x axis is being rotated on the uh, inner gimbal okay so now let's go back to our 3d scene and now if I go up and down left and right whoops something is wrong oh sorry I forgot to put this back to zero let's reset everything because it was messed up due to the other example okay now up and right and left you see and I always have my rotations perfectly aligned the camera is always facing up as it should so from here if you want to apply a zoom a zoom is really easy because room, the zoom all you have to do is you go to your you can go to I think you gotta go to any any of these nodes the gimbal or the inner gimbal and what you have to do is just scale it okay because these are empty nodes they don't show anything in the 3d uh, in the 3d game uh, only in the editor so what you can do you scale it once you scale it because this has an offset a translation from the center you're going to change the offset from the center so you have basically a zoom in and zoom out of course the camera here is growing because the zoom is affecting the camera but actually in the game it doesn't affect anything at all except the distance okay here is a, is affecting the the size of this icon but it's just an icon for the editor so nothing in the game will change uh, as to how the game is rendered so basically just by scaling I can move in and move out okay and you can see that this is exactly what I did here my zoom in and zoom out I'm basically just setting a scale where I get the current scale and I add or subtract to it uh, another vector 3 with a specific zoom speed which I would I define as 0 0.8 times delta so zoom out zoom in rotate okay very very simple so after after this what you want to do to make your camera better you want to add constraints because right now I can rotate all around which is good but I probably do not want to rotate all around in this axis because the camera will be upside down okay the world will be like facing down uh, so you want to have a constraint to one of the axes when it, when it reaches a limit you want to stop it there and uh, so constraints will be added later and then to make this really um, nice you want the camera to follow the, the target right so when the cube moves let's say in the game your cube, your cube is moving like this what you need to do you don't move the camera you move the gimbal okay so the gimbal will follow your player your target now this is good to do by code you could of course uh, parent it parent it, it to the cube to the target but it's good to do by code this part because you can by code you can create a, a kind of delay so the cube moves and then this one moves slowly and then it picks up some speed and then you know you can use all kind of equations interpolations and tweens and all that to make the camera more you know smooth and organic but that's another thing so i think for now i'll stop it here uh, thanks for watching i hope it was useful to you bye bye